Welkom bij alweer de tweede aflevering van ons South by Southwest magazine. Ik heb de camera, mijn iPhone, even aan vriend Erwin gegeven die dit draait. Normaal doe ik dat, doet hij de interviews. Nu eventjes andersom. Wat gaan we vandaag doen in deze aflevering? We gaan de hele dag naar de South by Southwest Accelerator. Dat is het programma waar allerlei start-ups strijden om de prestigieuze South by Southwest Interactive Awards. Hartstikke leuk. We hebben onder andere iemand met 3D geprinte schoenen en we hebben een interview met de latere winnaar. Dan denk je, hoe weet jij dat nu al? Nou, daarvoor moet je even kijken. We zitten hier bij de Accelerator, Samen Southwest Accelerator. Wat mij betreft een van de leukste onderdelen van Samen Southwest, waar de meest talentvolle start-ups zich presenteren in allerlei verschillende categorieën. Hier zie je wat de trends zijn en wat de nieuwe grote namen kunnen worden. Uh, de sexy wearables zijn we nu, dus heel erg toegepast. De eerste start-up was een vrouw die had een soort thermometer ontdekt voor vrouwen in overgang die warmer of kouder konden worden dankzij die technologie. Uh, net een uh, 3D printer, fiets genoemd, kan je je schoenen op maat laten maken. En Fitbark is een dienst, is eigenlijk een tracker voor je, voor je huisdier, voor je hond. Uh, hoe gezond is die, hoeveel loopt die, et cetera. Just testing that you can hear me. Wait for a presentation. All right, I've got a timer. So good morning, everybody. My name is Lucy Beard. I'm the founder of Feats, and I'm here to bring you the future of footwear. So how is it to, to, to stand on the stage over here? Oh, I'm so nervous. No, no. <laughs> Once you have spoken to a lot of investors and customers, like you just got to know your product. So at this, it's just an opportunity to share what we're doing with even more people, which is exciting. Yeah, and what you're doing is, uh, um, yeah, shoes on demand. Uh, yeah, so we're uh, doing so like say. mass customization, shoes that fit you. Uh, we use 3D printing, which is what the cool technology is. But the whole point is, you want shoes that fit. You don't want to wear someone else's shoes. Wear shoes made for you. Yeah. And it's called here wearable technologies, but what, what sort of technology is there in your shoe then? The technology is actually you've built a whole manufacturing center, a 3D printer that is like going to make a thousand pairs of shoes a month and every single one of those is different. Yeah, and, and um, your shoes are... Yeah, you can um, check them out right here, I can do a little bit of dancing on my feet for you. So I'm actually wearing size me shoes because it's the only size you ever need. The technology is partnered with a software app so you can take three photos of your feet and that means that you can get your size just with that. You yeah. select a few color options so that you can have the shoes designed to your style and that's it. We ship them, make them and ship them to you within seven days. Met Soul Power wek je energie op door uh, te lopen uh, met, uh, well, How do you describe your product? Yeah, so it's a, a power generating insole. So basically it takes the kinetic energy of your step, converts it into electrical, and then it stores that in a battery pack on top of your shoe. So after you've walked for, say, an hour, you'll have 30 minutes of talk time stored up in that battery, so you can plug that into any USB compatible device. Yeah, yeah. brilliant. Hey, um, you're part of the uh, ex uh, accelerator here, yeah. so um, uh, what is your goal? Why are you here? Uh, we are here, you know, making connections, building uh, the company out, just getting in front of uh, a lot of great people. And people came with their business cards, so it's already yes. working. Yes, yes, very, very optimistic at this point, yes. Yeah. And are you looking for investors, or what are you looking for? Uh, you know, anybody who's going to help us grow, really. No. Hey, and um, uh, you've seen the competition? Yes. So, how are your chances? We're, we're hopeful, we'll see. You know, a great presentations all around. You know, this is only half the group, but uh, I think the group that was here is very competitive, so I think it's going to be interesting to see who moves on. This is it. Uh, it's a mobile phone for kids. It's called Teeny Tell. You press the big button and it calls a contact in standby. It's for um, the most simple communication. So when kids are outside playing in the gym or uh, on a field or something and you want to call them home for dinner, then this is the go-to option. This whole thing started when I was at my friend's house and his son wanted to go outside and play. We were making dinner but uh, my friend said, no, go to your room and play with your iPad instead. I don't want to go outside and get you. And I thought, wow, that's so sad. When I was a kid, I'd just go outside and play. Uh, so that's how it started. Uh, a kid wasn't allowed to go outside and play because there was no communication device suited for him. Yeah. And how far are you now with the products? Is this, is this a working model you have here? Uh, yeah, we have functioning prototypes. There are still some calibrations that we need to do with regard to the cell tower connectivity and uh, and the battery optimization and the speaker quality. It's minor things, I mean, we're on track, but 
Uh, it's not totally finished, but we have functioning products. But, uh, yeah. but uh, I, I like the product. I, I think kids will think it's kind of cool. They do. There's a coolness factor to it. If they, from four to eight, eight is when they get their, you know, I think their smartphone. Yeah. Hans Veldhuizen, zelf ondernemer en altijd kijkend naar ondernemingen hè, waar je in uh, kan deelnemen. Je hebt hier gezeten bij in ieder geval de laatste twee sessies van, uh, van de wearables. Ja. Uh, je kwam hier net het uh, podium op omdat je het Tinitel uh, uh, interessant ja. vond. Hoe kijk jij daarnaar? Wat vind je daar interessant aan? Um, Tinitel is de manier waarop zoiets als het ware een soort game device is hè, voor, voor kleine kinderen. Ja, daar, en... en, en uh, het heeft uh, gps in het. Ze kunnen met één druk op de knop bellen. Ik als ouder zou mijn kind kunnen bellen en zeggen van het is tijd om te eten, kom naar binnen. Dat vind ik een prachtige toepassing. Ik kijk naar dingen waarvan ik denk, zou ik ze gebruiken? Zou, is het een, is functioneel voor mij? Ga je nog meer van dit soort sessies bezoeken vandaag? Ja, ik doe alleen maar dit soort sessies, want ik vind het leuk, die pitches van start-ups. De, 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 panel, de grote panels zijn mee te druk en ik hou niet van lange rijen, dus dit zijn echt super interessante presentaties hier. How important is Sound by Southwest for you? Uh, it's fun. Yeah, it's, it's a lot of fun. Yeah, but are, are you here for, for, for a goal? Do you need investors or do you need whatever? What do you, what, what, what uh, do you want to come home with? Well, I want to, on Sunday evening, I want to do a Twitter uh, thing like, I just won the, the wearables competition at South by Southwest. I love these competitions. So that's pretty much why I'm here for yeah. these competitions. Dat was het dan weer, de tweede aflevering van ons South by Southwest magazine. En voor het geval je het niet in de gaten had, dat laatste interview waar dus ook investeerder Hans Veldhuizen mee stond te praten, dat was de latere winnaar van de afdeling wearables bij de South by Southwest Accelerator. Een hartstikke mooi product, dus een terechte winnaar. Morgen zijn we er weer, dan zitten we de hele dag op de Game Expo, een apart onderdeel van South by Southwest, waar we de hele dag gaan kijken wat daar allemaal gebeurt.